So welcome, I guess, to my um, climbing progression episodes. I'm going to try to do this every time that I boulder. Just something to work on. Um, just a way to help possibly progress my climbing. Because I've been climbing for about a year now. And the most I've gotten was V4. And that's like on a really good day. Not a high gravity day. And uh, maybe I did a 511A one time. Um, but my eventual goal is to get to some good outdoor climbs, some big wall climbs, do Nyad, maybe, you know, sleep on the face of El Cap, but one day. I just want to document my V0 to V10 progress, my 510 to 513, and hopefully El Cap someday. Also, it's mainly because my partner said that my videos suck. And as you can see with the framing of this shot, they do suck. She said that my videos are boring, they're too long, and they're not that entertaining, which is true. I mean, I can't hate on that. This is mostly for me anyway. I just want to have some kind of creative outlet, something to do. Um, but yeah, I'll be working on my climbing and I'll also be working on these videos, not just shooting, framing, but also editing and just having some interesting perspectives and way to, to just kind of show what's going on. But I think it'll be mostly for me uh, just be fun to look back and see how it was going from V0 to V10. And maybe along the way help someone else. Maybe come up with some tips and advice that I can think of. Um, but I doubt it. I don't think anyone will look at my channel besides my mom. Hey mom. And uh, maybe my sister because she's in it a lot. Um, but yeah. So... Uh, just enjoy some of these videos of me randomly doing some V zeros for now and I will document my progress in episodes going from V zero to V 10. I wonder how long that's going to take. Um, so, well, this is episode one. Let's see if I can get to episode 365, which will probably be like two years from now since I don't climb every day. And we'll probably take some breaks here and there, especially when I'm training for Ironman. Oh, that's another thing. Look out for, and when I say look out and who I'm talking to is just me, the future me, because obviously no one watches my videos, but whatever. But whoever is listening, the one person, the sad soul that's on the toilet um, with nothing better to do, me. Um, yeah, so I'm also going to make these videos to document my Iron Man training program. Right now, I'm just like doing some base foundation training, but we signed up for Iron Man Florida in November of 2023. We did our first sprint and Olympic triathlons this year, which were fun. And we're like, fuck it. Let's go to Iron Man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway, I almost drowned on my first triathlon and I barely survived my second, but I had a great time. Although I do enjoy climbing a little bit more. I enjoy swimming, biking and running. Uh, biking, swimming and then running in that order. Climbing above all those other things, but it's also not something that, I think it takes a little bit more skill than just like endurance. And then hopefully also alpinist climbing one day. Um, I also like shooting videos and making videos because I need some kind of creative outlet. As I'm getting old and this is my midlife crisis, I guess this is just me wanting to do something to, I don't know. It's like my coloring book, my little sketch pad, except it's, uh, it's video editing, like a nerd. Um, so yeah, my, my approach to climbing will be similar to my Ironman training, which is 80-20 climbing. I came up with that. I don't know if that's a real thing. Um, but 80% of my climbing will be mostly for mileage and 20% will be projects or harder grades pushing my, um, my limits, I guess you could say. Yep, um, but for now I'm just gonna stick to like V0s to V2s for the most part and just work on the the whole movement patterns and not just climb up, but also down climb since I can't, since I don't have much time like 
top roping and I don't know how to really lead climb yet. Plus it also kind of freaks me out. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna keep working on bouldering and try to find some top rope partners and form some new relationships. And uh, yeah, keep just doing whatever. Maybe hopefully make some more interesting videos with uh, better framing so my partner doesn't complain. Not that she watches anyway, she doesn't even know that I have a YouTube channel for the most part. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah, here I am just about to slip off of this V1. My arms are getting like super pumped here. Um, I was able to move a little bit. Uh, my hands are super sweaty. Oh, that's another thing that sucks. I guess like everyone uses chalk, but my hands are like water fountains when I'm climbing. They're like waterfalls, just straight dripping. Like I probably lose most of my sweat and fluids from my hands. By this point, I was like super pumped. I had actually lifted before this bouldering episode um, and then I started bouldering and I didn't really take much rest because I had to work later. So I was trying for the most part to climb and down climb every route, which I did relatively okay in in most of the other routes. But by the time I got here, I was like done. My forearms, can't see him from now because they because I actually look like you could tell that my frame is like a little 14 year old boy like a Timothy Chalamet in call call me by your name um, which is embarrassing because I am older and should be bigger and I should weigh more anyway so as you can see I almost fell here because my arms were pumped like the lactic acid was through the roof my lactate was probably like 6.0 I probably um, could go to the ICU but anyway again my forearms are burnt but I wanted to link up these three this uh, yellow black and blue um, I don't know if I actually did or if I can't remember now oh I think I did I, I was just like pushing through it and then after this I just called it a day so anyway thanks for watching whoever watched me in the future I guess just that uh, but yeah, look out for episode two coming soon. And I'll comment more on my climbing at that time. Deuces.